So a few months back, I decided to go ahead and do a Monster Energy Drink ranking whatever video. And for the most part, that was a, uh, you know, I want to try it, just see what I like. That was mostly it. What I didn't expect, however, was for the video to do that well. Especially recently, like, the video's just been getting a lot more recent attention. Don't know why, but hey, I'm eternally grateful. So grateful, in fact, I decided to try Red Bull. One Red Bull. Only one Red Bull. Or at least that was the original plan. You see, I am what many people would call an idiot. I'm gonna regret that, aren't I? So yeah, these are all 11 Red Bulls that you can find on the Red Bull website. And no, I do not want anybody to be like, oh, well, in in uh, South Africa, they have Red Bull, uh, Red Bull, I don't know, Red Bull peanut butter and jelly flavor. Listen, 11 Red Bulls is already way too many Red Bulls as is. 12 would be way too excessive, all right? Oh yeah, fun fact too. Uh, I really don't like Red Bull, so this is gonna be fun. But as much as I don't like Red Bull, you know, I'm gonna be completely open today because, you know, I spend money on these things. I have to be a little bit open, but hopefully we find, uh, I don't know, a Red Bull that I like more than Monster, which I'm gonna admit is better than lighter fluid. Now, unfortunately, I did have to change one thing from last time. Uh, if you guys watched the previous video where I drank every Monster Energy, uh, you would know that there was a certain thing I did in the video, and for the most part, it was well-received. I think people really liked it. Uh, but unfortunately, I decided to not do it today. You know, I just figured it was pretty inappropriate, all things considered. So, um, yeah, I just don't really see the reason why I'll need to go ahead and add in a fake Ampharos plush because I actually already own it. I gave him a medal because he's special. All right, let's get started. I think we'll start off first with just the uh, normal uh, Red Bull. You know, I think everybody's at least tried a Red Bull at some point, uh, whether that is to confirm you love it or if you're correct. For some reason, I don't know why it is, but man, you see Red Bull everywhere on a college campus. To be fair, it's not always the regular Red Bull, which is the wrong choice to have, in my opinion. You tend to see a lot of people drinking the fruity ones, and I don't know why, but this is definitely one you see a good amount. It's the just normal, basic Red Bull. I'm gonna try it, just so I can show you guys I don't like it, but... <sighs> So here's my problem with Red Bull, right? Is Red Bull good? Personally speaking, hell no. But the reason why I don't like Red Bull that much is not because it's the most vile thing I've drank. For the most part, it doesn't taste that awful. It's the fact that it tastes disappointing. And the main reason why that's worse than just tasting awful is, say for instance, you know, somebody just is like, here Grant, take a, take a good old delicious Red Bull. If I drink it and I think it's disgusting, I have no qualms with dumping it or just not drinking it. But if it's disappointing, then I feel like, well, I have to keep drinking it. It's not good, but it feels weird not to drink it. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's kind of like one of those things where I don't like because in good faith, I can't just be like, ugh, gross. Yes. I'm not throwing this again, not, like, not after earlier. If it's not obvious, I prefer Monster. What did I give Monster last time, like a six? I'd say this is like a four. It's not bad. It's not like that thing you drink and you're gonna go, <laughs> Yucky! Gross! It's kind of that thing you'll just be like... <sighs> 4 out of 10. Now next up, Red Bull Sugar Free or Red Bull Zero. I have no clue what the difference is between the two. Uh, let's go Sugar Free first. Now when it comes to Monster, I actually kind of prefer it when it's sugar free. Or at least the sugar free variants because it kind of is a bit more sweet. If you've ever had Red Bull or, you know, at least know kind of the taste of Red Bull, you would be able to say, yeah, it's very acidic. So, and that's kind of what I don't like about it. So who knows? Maybe the zero sugar, it's more sweet and good. You know, you know, I'm going to save my judgment and just take a quick sip. Cheers. Oh yeah, that is definitely better than this one. Is it still good though? Mm, mm, kinda, actually. I still think there's way too much like of that acidic taste it has that I'm just not a big fan of, especially compared to like Monster, which doesn't have that much acidity to the taste of it. But it is admittedly sweeter. And it's a lot easier to drink than regular 
Red Bull, but this isn't actually that terrible. If I were given it for free, I'd drink it. But if I ever walked to like a gas station or a Safeway and I decided to go get an energy drink, no. Uh, in case you're wondering what my score is gonna be for this, uh, I'm torn between a five or a six. Like it is way better than this, but once I get into like the six category, I feel like that's starting to tread towards the better side, but eh, I'll give it a six. I'll be fair. I don't know how any of these other ones are gonna rank, but I think a six out of 10 is fair for this. Now, moving on from the Red Bull Zero Sugar, we got Red Bull Zero. I have no clue what the difference is, because, here, hold on a second. As you can probably tell, its big thing it tries to market is that it's zero sugar. This is sugar-free. I have no clue what the difference is. The only thing it says on the backside is that this has less sodium and a little bit more Naya, Naya, uh, uh, th that, that, uh, chemical. I mean, I don't get the point of it, but, you know, maybe it tastes better. Maybe it actually has a good flavor to it, but I'm not holding my breath per se. Ooh, that's kind of like, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of misting up there. You can't tell because the camera is not that great on my phone. Okay. Yes, I'm kind of delaying it because, I mean, admittedly, I have, what, after this, eight more Red Bulls to go, so... Wait a minute. I kind of like that. Like, I don't love it. Don't get me wrong, I don't love it, but that's better than these two by a good amount. And I have no clue what the difference is. Like, hold on a second. I'm actually gonna take a quick look and see if I can even piece together a difference between these two. I mean, for the most part, it just looks like the main differences are like some of the percentages of some of the other chemicals in it, but this is like a lot better. Like, I was complaining that this one ha was a bit too acidic for my liking. This one just has no acidity to it. It's actually like, a lot better than previous. Uh, again, it's hard because it's like, I don't like it a lot. Like, you know, it still tastes, I don't have that Red Bull taste. If you don't like that Red Bull taste, you just don't like Red Bull, period. But yeah, that's actually better than these two. Honestly, I'm gonna dock this one down to a five out of 10 and give this one a six. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. If I were to walk to a gas station or Safeway and I wanted to go get an energy drink, I wouldn't feel guilty about buying this, but Again, a little more on the monster side, but honestly, this was a lot better than I thought. So yeah, that basically rounds out what I like to call the normal Red Bulls. Uh, as you can see by these eight right here, Red Bull apparently has their own little fruity versions or flavored ones. Who knows, maybe one of these is good, but I'm seeing this one, for instance, the Amber Edition. That's a weird one to start off with, but I'll start off with it. I'm immediately noticing two things in this one. Strawberry, good. Apricot, gross, ew, god, no, disgusting, fuck apricots. Okay, that's a little too far. Fun fact, this is the one that I had the hardest time finding because, I don't know, I think Red Bull has like their seasonal type of Red Bulls they release every year. I think this is like their more summery one, uh, winter edition, winter, but. No, one day I just walked into my local regional specific Kroger chain and, uh, out of there so let's see if it is worth the hype uh considering that it has the a word in it uh smells like apricot mm. Ugh. Ugh. yeah it's not bad <laughs> here's the thing i can tell objectively this is a lot better still very 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 acidic but i can tell that if you are somebody who likes strawberry and someone who likes apricot you're gonna like this unfortunately i hate apricot so if you were probably somebody who liked it, you'd probably think it's like a seven out of 10. Like it's pretty good, but considering I hate apricot, uh, let's give that a minus five. Minus five indeed, because I refuse to give an apricot any positive attention. So listen, you came to a video to watch my opinion on this, like on what Red Bulls I like. If you don't like the opinion on it, then I'll cry. That is my final warning. Moving on, let's try one of the normal, normal flavored ones, the Dragon fruit, or as it's called, the green edition. Uh, if you haven't had dragon fruit before, it's uh, it's very flavorless, but it's not terrible. So I have no clue how this is gonna turn out. Could be good, could be bad, but I don't think it's gonna surpass uh, amber edition for me in terms of my least favorite. So it's already got something going for it. One thing I like about Red Bull though, admittedly, is at the very least, they sell these small versions of the drink. And for the sake of testing out what drinks I like, it's actually pretty good, you know, they're like, two bucks, you get a quick one. 
If you don't like it, you don't feel that guilty for not drinking all of it. Uh, unfortunately, though, for, they only do that for like four of them. The other ones, they sell these bigger ones, which are more in line with a normal energy drink, but yeah, so. <sighs> yes, I'm procrastinating, all right? Cheers. You know, I was about to say that's actually really good, but again, I think it's just the Red Bull thing. That stupid acidic taste comes in like right at the end. Like the first sip, it's like a nice fruity taste. It's very clean. It doesn't have a strong flavor. It feels kind of refreshing almost. And it hits you with that taste of like just bitterness that you probably find in like a normal Red Bull energy. Um, hmm. This is hard because it's like, I feel like I could rank it twice, honestly speaking. In fact, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ranking it twice. Before, when you take a normal sip, it's really good. I actually really like it. Seven out of 10. That good taste of dragon fruit, clean, simple, good. Then it hits you with that bitterness. Uh, I would give it a four out of 10. I think I gave, what I give normal Red Bull again? Um, whatever I gave that, uh, between that and this, the even point between them, I think it's kind of has that little middle ground of both. So what is that? If I gave this a seven, um, let's just say six. I, I'll give it a six. I'll be kind to it because the first bit's actually really good. Moving on though, we got ourselves uh, the red edition with, oh great, watermelon. If you watched my uh, monster video, you would know that my opinion on watermelon is it's the it's the flavor that can I either really like or really hate. And it really just boils down to individual product that has watermelon in it. Mm -hmm. Let's just hope it's good. Okay, I really like the taste of the watermelon. And the acidic taste, admittedly, is a lot less strong than it was in this one, but it's still too strong for my liking. Uh, I feel like this is just like a five out of 10 mid rating. Uh, I'll give it a six. I definitely think the flavor of this one's better than this one, but at the very least, I kind of feel like the refreshingness of this one kind of is a little better than this one. Ugh, okay, now the bitterness is starting to come in, but yeah, for some reason, all the Red Bulls, I just find they're very mediocre. Like, they're not terrible. They're not like the thing where I'm gonna, you know, be like, <laughs> ah, they're just fine. Could be better. If they just cut down on that acidic taste, I'd really like it, but as it stands right now, uh, yeah, this is not, at all my first choice of energy drink. But that rounds out all the small cans of Monster. You stupid dumbass. Now we got to move on to the, the bigger cans. Starting off with another flavor variant, uh, the Yellow Edition, which is tropical. Now I like my tropical drinks. Pineapple, good. Coconut, well, I think this one already has coconut. Like, depends. Yeah, I'd have no clue what it means, but I assume tropical at least means pineapple, and I like pineapple. Now let's just hope that the acidicness either isn't present or it actually works really well with what you're drinking, so. Definitely smells like pineapple. I can't put my finger on what else it's, it uh, smells like, though. If you smell it, you can, you'll probably know what I mean, but. Ugh. Why the fuck does every Red Bull have that gross, like, bitter taste afterwards? Like, I took, like, a nice, small sip. I thought to myself, you know what? This actually tastes good. It's a nice tropical taste. And then that stupid fucking bitterness. I mean, it tastes good. It definitely has a nice taste of, like, pineapple-y tropical drink to it. But I just really can't stand it when it, start, like, switches from being a nice, good sweet to just suddenly being, like, a super acidic and worse off, too. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, at least on the bigger cans, 38 grams of sugar. I'm gonna be honest, if I'm gonna drink 38 grams of sugar, I might as well get something that tastes sweet. I think it's a fair, I think that's a fair trade-off. If I'm gonna cram that much sugar in my body and inevitably cause me in 10 years to call current me numerous slurs, uh, yeah, I'd really want it to be, taste sweet. Um, in fact, you know what, that just pisses me off more. I'm gonna give that a four out of 10 just to set a precedent, even though I do actually really like the initial flavor. Initial flavor is really good, but I don't know. I think Red Bull just pisses me off out of all the energy drinks. And thankfully there are only four left. Uh, blueberry, I don't have a strong opinion of, and you don't really see blueberry flavored stuff that often. More often than not, it'll be a blue raspberry, especially for drinks. So who knows, maybe it'll work. But I remember blueberries are, okay, maybe I just eat the wrong type of blueberries. They tend to be very acidic already, so. Who knows, actually, this might work out really well in this is uh, favor, but, oh, that has such a strong blueberry smell to it. 
I mean, I actually, I'll give credit to all the Red Bulls here. Um, they smell pretty good. Like, watermelon smells like watermelon. Tropical smells like tropic. Dragon fruit smells like what I assume is dragon fruit. Case still continues with the blueberries. So, yeah, that's the only positive thing I'll probably say about this. Cheers. I'll be blunt. I think that's probably my favorite out of all the Red Bull fruit drinks. Uh, is it still good? <laughs> a little bit. Uh, definitely the least acidic, I think, or at least I think the acidity works better for the blueberry flavor. But if it were my choice, cut out the blue, like that sort of stupid bitterness entirely and just go straight for the uh, blueberry. But honestly, that's not too terrible. Um, in fact, you know what? I'll be very nice to this one. I'm gonna give it a... That's a sign I like it. I take another sip. I'll give it a seven. A little too bitter for my liking, but at the very least I can make the argument that it works for the sake of the blueberry, whereas if I eat a fucking pineapple and it is like tart, I think I'm gonna actually go ahead and throw hands. Scrawny hands, but still. Moving on, uh, let's go with the, I guess I'll do coconut. Ugh. Okay, here's the thing about coconut in my opinion, right? If you're a picky eater, you might gonna relate to this. It's not the fact that I hate coconut, but it's the fact that coconut is so conditional of like a food for me. Like some things I really like coconut in. Other things cannot stand coconut in. It could even vary just between different brands for me. So yeah, but this is a coconut berry uh, Red Bull. I have no clue how this is gonna taste. Hopefully the coconut is, the coconut tastes like any of these ones is uh, initial taste. I think it's gonna be fine, but it's all dependent on that bitterness. And if I, I swear, if the coconut turns bitter, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna just spit it out. I'm not even gonna toy around with the concept of it. Why on earth does it turn bitter when you swallow it? <laughs> See, the thing is, that initial sip, that was actually really good. It was like a nice coconut. It tastes almost like a coconut water. Again, with the stupid bitterness. I can't, I don't get it. I don't get why all Red Bull has that gross, bitter taste. Maybe it's a brand thing. If that's the case, respect to you, Red Bull, but it is very gross, so. Yeah. But I think I would give that... I'll give that a 7 too. It definitely has the better flavor of all these. And I'd argue this is a tiny bit less acidic, but it's just that that stupid bitterness lingers on the tongue, even well after that coconut taste goes away, so... I'll give it a 7, but it's actually pretty decent. Uh, yeah, that just leaves two more left. Winter Edition and Peach Edition. I'm gonna go with the Peach first, uh, or Peach Nectarine. Sorry. Uh, I like peach. Peach is good. That's about it, really, though. Uh, as much as I would like to say I have faith in this, I went through, what, nine Red Bulls so far? And so far, they have all tasted shit. Look, I don't know, man. I don't like Red Bull. I think I've just concluded that. But am I being a bit, like, premature when I say I don't like Red Bull, considering I have one more left to drink, or two more left to drink? Yeah, a lot. But at the same point, I don't like it. But... Peach nectarine, uh, smells decent, but I guess we'll have to just see. It's not terrible, actually. Yeah, maybe I'm going crazy, but pretty much all these, bar you for a second, all these are actually pretty decent. I don't know what it is about the bitterness I don't like. I think it's the fact that it almost coats the tongue. It's not like a hint of bitterness. It's not like a strong bitter taste, but goes away. It like coats the tongue, so it kind of just stays there for way too long after you drink the product. But the actual peach part itself tasted pretty decent. Like, kind of dries out your mouth though. Uh, yeah, that's pretty decent. Um, I feel really guilty for giving this a 7 out of 10 considering I gave the last two 7 out of 10s. But you know what? You know what? I'll be nice. You know what? I think I'll give Coconut Edition Red Bull an actual 8 out of 10 because I think the coconut actually tastes really nice and pleasant. And I'll give this one a 7 so then... It'll just be two 7 out of 10s, so. Yeah, honestly, Red Bull, the later ones, they're fine, but I feel like the problem I don't like about these Red Bulls is the exact same as these Red Bulls. But finally, we got to the final one, Winter Edition, with Fig Apple. I like Apple. I haven't had Fig, and I don't know if a Fig Apple's its own thing. Probably is, and I'm just an idiot, but. Yeah. It smells pleasant. I mean, I like Apple products a lot. If it's just uh, Fig plus Apple, at the very least, I really like apple, but it'll all be dependent on that fig taste. Yeah, anyways, I have no clue how this is going to taste, so anyways, though, final Red Bull I have to try today. Uh, cheers. Mm. <coughs> oh, 
Oh god, that's gross. Okay, yeah, that. Uh, <coughs> you know what? I think I was a little too hard on apricot, actually. I guess I just hate fig. Oh. You know, if I gave that a minus five, that gets a minus fifty. All right. I can't. Ugh. I, I hope that nobody's gonna judge me for this, but I'm just gonna. I wonder if somebody got turned on by that. Hopefully not. So yeah, that was all. 10 Red Bulls. Only all 10 Red Bulls. No more than that. And what did I think of all only 10 Red Bulls? Uh, well, out of the 10 Red Bulls I tried today, they were okay. I think it's really solidified the idea that Red Bull isn't shit, just mid. If I were offered one for free, I'll drink it. Don't get me wrong. If I got given... Okay, well... If I were given any of the 9 Red Bulls, yeah, I'd probably go ahead and get them. Like, just drink the whole thing, but... Otherwise, though... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with Monster Energy, but yeah. If there's any takeaway I want people to have from this video where they saw me drink nine Red Bulls. Well, okay, well actually this one will count as one of them. It's, well, it's better than the previous. But is there any takeaway I want people who saw me drink 10 Red Bulls to think? Yes. God, water's good. Mm.